Okay, let us consider question number 3. Let S be the set of all column matrices B1, B2, B3 and the system of equations, 3 equations are given has at least one solution, has at least one solution meaning either unique solution or maybe infinitely many solutions or maybe some number of solutions depends upon the question, depends upon the variables involved. Then which of the following systems has at least one solution for each B1, B2, B3 and 4 system of equations are given further. So, starting with the given data which involves minus x plus 2y plus 5z equals b1 and so on. So, 3 equations are given. Let us solve these 3 so that we can say this system of equation has at least one solution. So, let us use the matrix way to solve it. Writing the coefficients in matrices like a x equals b form, right. So, let us start this one writing in the form of a x equals b. We have written here the coefficients. Now, simplifying it so that we can get maximum zeros in a row. So, let us use the operation with the help of third row making first and second zeros and applying the same operation on the right hand side as well. So, we find 0 0 7 just by adding the first and third and replacing second by multiplying third row with 2 and subtracting we get 0 0 minus 1 here. Applying the same method here means what we have done we have replaced r 1 by r 1 plus r 3 and r 2 by r 2 minus 2 r 3. Just apply the same operation on the right side as well we obtain this one. Now, second row has one element as minus 1, first row has one element as 7 meaning that we can make one more row 0. So, making it 0 further just using the second row in order to make the element of the first row 0 that is replacing r 1 by r 1 plus 7 r 2. What we obtain on the right side? This one. Now, this one is 0 0 0 meaning unique solution possibility is not there. This may have infinitely many solutions if it has infinitely many solutions if this term is 0 meaning b 1 plus 7 b 2 minus 13 b 3 is 0. So, this is one important conclusion with the help of the given system of equations. Now, moving to the options part. A option has given 3 equations. When we try to solve these 3 equations, we simply observe here determinant comes non-zero. Once the determinant is non-zero meaning unique solution whatever is written on the right side that is b 1, b 2, b 3. So, for each b 1, b 2, b 3 in S, the system of equation will have unique solution as the determinant is non-zero. Similarly, for option number D, we will observe that this is non-zero. So, again unique solution is there meaning A and D are the correct options. Now, going for option B and C. Let us go for option number B first. When we write the coefficients in this form like A x equals B and we operate here like we are making this one 0 by replacing R 2 as R 2 minus 5 R 1. Then we are replacing R 3 as R 3 plus 2 R 1, right. So, when we apply this operation what we observe 5 minus 5 it becomes 0 then minus 3 and minus 9. Similarly, for row 3 just add the 2 by multiplying first row with 2. So, this becomes 0, this becomes 1 and this is 3 similarly on the right hand side. Now, we can see here second and third rows has elements like minus 3, minus 9 and 1, 3. So, if we just multiply the third rows elements with 3 and add to the second row, second row will change to 0, 0, 0. So, let us do the same operation. 
So, what we are doing here? We are going to replace R 2 by R 2 plus 3 R 3 correct. Doing this operation we observe right side involves one equation B 1 plus B 2 plus 3 B 3 equals 0. This is what required for infinitely many solutions correct. So, B 1 plus B 2 plus 3 B 3 must be 0, but as per the result obtained with the help of the given system of equations, we had the equation B 1 plus 7 B 2 minus 13 B 3 is 0. Meaning for the same set of B 1 B 2 B 3, we are not going to get the infinitely many solution in option B. Hence, option B is not correct option B is not correct as option B is not giving me B 1 plus 7 B 2 minus 13 B 3 equals 0. So, here we are not getting B 1 plus 7 B 2 minus 13 B 3 is equal to 0. This was the constraint required. So, this is not what we were looking for. Now, next option what it says option C. Option C says minus x plus 2 y minus 5 z equals b 1, 2 x minus 4 y plus 10 z equals b 2 and x minus 2 y plus 5 z equals b 3. Just look at these three equations. Third one x minus 2 y plus 5 z equals b 3. Second one take two common what we are left with x minus 2 y plus 5 z equals b 2. So, divide 2 on the right side. So, we have x minus 2 y plus 5 z equals b 2 y 2. Similarly, the first equation take minus common again the same. So, we can see here So, let us write the equations of option C here as minus b 1 b 2 by 2 and b 3 for this these three equations we can clearly see either these are representing identical planes or parallel planes. For infinitely many solutions these must be identical meaning that minus b 1 must be b 2 by 2 must be b 3. When we substitute this value here in the given equation let us consider for b 2 we replace minus 2 b 1 and for b 3 we replace minus b 1. So, this is satisfied we are getting 0 meaning that for this case we are having infinitely many solutions, but the question reads very interesting line here. What is that? It says has at least one solution for each b 1, b 2, b 3. So, what is the conclusion over here? Here we observe that for certain set b 1, b 2, b 3 satisfying this condition we will have infinitely many solution, but there will be some other b 1, b 2, b 3 for which these would be the parallel planes in that case there will be no solution. Other way we can see here from the first equation the given set of equations what we obtained there we obtained result over there as this one meaning that we are able to write in terms of two variables right say for example, k 1, k 2, but for the option C we are able to write in terms of single variable say lambda. So, obviously clearly there are many other such values for which the given constant is not satisfied. So, this will not be the required solution hence the correct answers are A and D. So, this one is pretty good option option C. So, this is all about question number 3 let us move to the next one that is question number 4.